So this video will review minerals, a beginning part of chapter two here in Regents Earth Science. Minerals are the key building block of all the materials in Earth's crust. They are the basis for the structure that will form into rocks. There are hundreds of different minerals on Earth, but we will only study about 12 of them because they are most common on Earth. To identify a mineral and to uh, determine which mineral you are looking at, we observe some very basic properties of the mineral. Let's first look at the actual definition of a mineral. A mineral is defined as a naturally occurring, meaning it is formed by the Earth, not by people. Inorganic, meaning it has al never been alive. It is a solid, which means not a liquid or a gas. It has a definite chemical composition, which means the con the what it is made of is the same for every sample of it. So every sample of sulfur is the same as every other sample of sulfur. And it has a crystal structure. More on that later. In order to identify a mineral, we use six basic properties. Luster, hardness, color, breakage, streak, and then any special features of the mineral. Let's look at them in more detail. Luster is the way the mineral reflects light. It's either metallic or non-metallic. If it is metallic, it looks like a piece of metal. It is not white or clear. It is not transparent. It doesn't have a fancy, funky, pretty color. It looks either silver, gold, or like a piece of crumpled up aluminum foil. Hardness is how well it resists being scratched. It is not the same as something that is indestructible. So even the hardest mineral, such as diamond, can be destroyed simply by tapping it with a hammer. If you go to this YouTube site, doo -doo -doo -doo, you can watch a video of a kid smashing his mom's diamond on the counter. Do not do that at home. We rank the hardest of minerals on Mohs hardness scale, from one being talc all the way to diamond being 10. In order to determine the hardness, we use some very common basic items as a reference guide. So if it scratches your fingernail, you know the hardness is greater than two and a half. If it scratches a penny, it's harder than three and a half, and so on, up the scale. To get harder than a steel plate, you start scratching other minerals. So if it scratches quartz, it's greater than seven. If it scratches corundum, it's harder than a nine. We use the color of a mineral to help us. It is the least reliable of all the characteristics. Um, because many minerals have the same color. And also true that one specific mineral can have many different colors. So we saw in our kits in class that fluorite can be green and blue and purple. But there were a dozen minerals that were white and clear looking. When identifying color, keep it simple. Basic colors, nothing complicated. If the mineral is either blue or white, Stick to the very, very basic colors. How it breaks is defined either as a minerals, mineral having cleavage or just, uh, just uh, showing fracture. Cleavage is a mineral that breaks along a line of weakness into a pattern. So if it breaks in the same shapes over and over again, you can say that it has cleavage. Here are three examples of minerals showing cleavage. Fracture would be the opposite, meaning a mineral just kind of crumbles or breaks randomly. And honestly, this is the most difficult of the properties to identify, since usually you can't smash the rock into pieces in order to see how it breaks. Streak, we slide the mineral along a rough tile, and we look at the color that is left behind. Crystal shape is the underlying reason all of the other properties exist. The 
stronger the crystal is formed, the stronger the atomic properties of the mineral, the harder it is, and all the other properties it shows are based on this. So here are six examples of different types of crystal shape. And some minerals have very special characteristics. This picture is of magnetite. It is magnetic. Some minerals have a certain color where they feel greasy. Some are incredibly soft. They powder in your, in your fingers. Sometimes those are helpful techniques in order to identify a mineral. And here's our reference table chart. It's on the back of the reference tables. You have um, the minerals being broken down by luster, hardness, breakage, common color, some unique characteristics, how we use them in real life, the chemical composition, and then finally the mineral name. So overall, minerals are the building blocks of rock. They're solid inorganic crystals. Their internal structure determines their properties. And we identify them based on these basic characteristics. Hope you enjoyed the review. See you in class.